the Texas High School Coaches Association puts on a, a clinic at the beginning of the year and we're really excited because on Tuesday night on Fox uh, Sports Southwest uh, Carson will be uh, competing in the All-Star Game. Uh, it's been our second consecutive year to have a player. Last year it was uh, Blake McJunkin. Uh, he's going. He went to S SMU and had a great year. Actually played as a freshman last year. And uh, of course we have Carson this year. Carson is, is is. There's a lot of things that made him a good quarterback. I think the number one thing is just he's just a fierce competitor. And uh, when you're a fierce competitor, you'll do whatever it takes uh, to. Uh, to be successful. Uh, he was very confident uh, in very critical situations and I think that that really uh, uh, played a, a big role in our football team because it seemed like in the most adverse situations he would step up and say let's go get this done and I think that just gave me confidence and it gave uh, everybody around him confidence. Uh, the other thing is he was one of the toughest guys on the team. You know a lot of people don't know that but uh, he was the kind of kid that he'd bear crawl and wrestle and fight with alignment. Because he was so tough and he was such a competitor and uh, he was just one of the most resilient kids on the team. I, I love that part about him because it just, it made it, it you know, it, because of some of his characteristics, uh, I think that made him easy to believe in and easy to follow. And, and you know, as a quarterback, sometimes, you know, everybody's real protective of the quarterback. I just think that 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 just galvanized our team because he was such a tough guy. And I, you know, he, 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 he displayed some of the characteristics that I really admire in a player. That toughness, that competitiveness, uh, the, the belief that, you know, when the tough gets going, I'm going to be right there and I'm going to shine. And, you know, he's not going to shy away from it. And uh, he was a winner. And so that's, that's what I'm going to remember about him. Uh, his decision to go to uh, UTEP, I think, is a good decision. I think UTEP's really excited about him coming out there. And I, I think all he's got to do is go down there and continue to do what he's been doing, stay patient, stay consistent. And I think a lot of good things are going to happen for Carson. Uh, he was able to do some things in, in, in Plano football history that, that as a kid growing up in Plano, I didn't, I didn't know if we ever would see that. But it's been exciting. Uh, I wouldn't say that we've revolutionized the offense, but we've, we've evolved. Uh, to, we're a little bit more balanced, and uh, we still love to run the ball. We still love to be physical. We still love to execute at a very high level. And, uh, and uh, you know, I think Carson has a lot to do with uh, the, the direction we've, we're moving our program in. And uh, so it's going to be exciting, to say the least, to watch him play in that All-Star game Tuesday night. You know, he's going to be jumping around. You're going to see him having fun. He's very passionate about playing the game of football. Uh, you're going to see a kid that they actually run the wing tee, this, this coach. But they, they also have some spread. They're very multiple. But the thing that I like about Carson is you're going to see a kid that's going to go out there and have a good time. He's going to compete. He's going to be very, very coachable. He's going to be the toughest guy on the field. He's going to uh, hustle and do the extra things it takes to win. And uh, so it's just, like I said, it's just going to be exciting. But, you know, you're definitely going to see Carson Meager with a smile on his face and those eyes with toothpicks in them. Some of the things that I remember, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll never forget uh, the, the, the third down play, uh, excuse me, the fourth down and one versus Trinity. And we were going to punt the ball. And I'll never forget Carson Meager coming over to me and he goes, Coach, we're not punting this ball. You've got to run the ball, and you've got to let me do it. And I said, all right, if you do it, you better make it. And, of course, he did. He ended up getting like six to eight yards. And, uh, you know, you can remember him sometimes on the goal line where he'd do quarterback sneak, and he'd just, just keep turning those legs, and he would find a way to reach that ball and get across the goal line. You know, those are things that, those are defining moments that I won't ever forget.